Yeah, let's start recording. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back. Alexander Inc. Codex. Democratic Socialism Simulator. This is a cute game that, uh, do, 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 on Steam by, oh God, who, Molly Industria? It's been out for just over a year now. It seems very light, very simple game, but, you know, I'm always down for a little bit of socialist uh, escapism, so let's take a look. Welcome to the Democratic Socialism Simulator. Would you like to take a quick tutorial? Yeah, sure. Great, so this machine simulates, let's look at the levels, it looks a little loud. down like negative 10 yeah yeah that's a bit more appropriate this machine simulates the challenges that a socialist or social democratic government might face in the united states of america you play as the president of the united states and the coalition behind them this machine will offer you sem semi-random proposals with two choices like this one some messages won't require any choice in your part, just like this one, just swipe either way. In the screen below, you'll see a model of the electorate. It's a collection of visual virtual voters. All right. The voters are positioned according to their approval. The closest ones will vote for you at the next elections. Each virtual voter has two top priorities. A choice might alienate some voters and attract others. Drag left and right to preview the effects. Huh. Neat. You can click on the individual poster voters to check their top issues and their approval. Uh. You are never getting. I. I'm concerned about terrorism and small government. Alright, well, we're never getting your vote. How about you? Terrorism and nationalism, white supremacy, containing white supremacy. Okay, well, you know, we can. Well, I know, containing immigration. Eh. Alright, cool, fair enough. Many policies require funding. The yellow bar indicates your current budget surplus. It can go negative, too. I'm turning this down more. Okay, that still. We're, we're tanking it. We're tanking it. Yeah, okay, that's appropriate. There, there's just a button for music. It's fine, it's an indie game. Many policies require funding. Yellow bar, yeah, it can go negative two. Spend more, tax more, spend more, tax more, spend more. Central bar represents people's power. Right now, it's empty. That's the problem we're trying to solve. People's power? A combination of economic equality, workers' organization, and citizens' engagement. All the good stuff. The gray bar represents greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Your goal is to reduce them to zero. Some radical reforms require a certain majority in Congress. This icon here indicates the minimum level of support you need. You can gain or lose congressional support at each election or due to major events. As a president, you can only be re-elected once. Midterm elections will occur halfway through each of your terms. That's it, more or less. Swipe left, swipe right, pave the road to socialism and such. Oh, and if you don't get demoralized, don't get demoralized if you fail. It may just be a bug in the simulator or plain bad luck. Ready? Sure, sure. Congratulations. This is your first day as president. Have you chosen a theme for your inauguration speech? Hope. <laughs> Political revolution, uh... What, we get like four moving forward? Six moving back. Hope is everybody moving forward a little. Yep, so we do the Obama way. How would you like your inauguration ceremony to be? Humble? Lavish. Oh. Humble, honestly. Um, these, I'm assuming, are like 
yeah, we're, we're never going to win these people over, but there's no need to go lavish here. Night, I kind of imagine we're not going to lose them. Wonderful ceremony, moving speech, now we have to start working. So many proposals, so little time. So is it time to tackle the housing crisis? Sure, let's try. I mean, we have enough congressional control to do that. We propose a big trust fund to create millions of affordable housing units. No, go no ghettos, no red lines. I, I, I we don't love that it's a trust fund, but okay. Can we overturn the Muslim ban? It's kind of xenophobic, kind of unconstitutional. Yep. What kind of stop- what about stopping all deportations for undocumented folks who've lived for more than five uh, years in the USA? Yes. At your earliest convenience, here's a draft of the Pentagon budget. Nothing new, only needs a rubber stamp. Uh, let's re-examine it. Budget items. Space Force. Brand new branch, still figuring out its purpose. Very promising. Space Force, or cut it. Yeah, we're gonna cut it. NASA is fine. The Confederate statue controversy is blowing up again. What's our statement? Add a plaque, take it down. Add a plaque, take it. Uh, okay, let's let's look here. Three, six, seven, eight, three. Two, fucking take it down. What should they erect instead? Slave memorial? Woo! Abstract art? Nobody likes this. Nobody likes abstract art. Slave memorial. Yeah. Having trouble connecting with Christians? Visit the Pope. He's a crypto leftist, after all. No gods, no masters, or yeah, we'll, we'll visit the Pope. Why not? To impress the Pope, you should casually drop a cool verse from the Bible. Romans 1, 26, 27, or... Okay, let's, let's look what these are. Um, Romans 1, 26. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even the women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. Um, wow. Okay. And, uh, out of context, really can't tell you what that means. Matthew 21, 12, um... Oh, this is, Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were bully buying and selling there, overturned the tables of the money changers and benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. Uh, I mean, this is obviously the base choice, but if we can win Christian support this way, I'll politic. Is it Christmas already? Where are you going to say in your video message? Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas? I'm going to say Merry Christmas. Because the actual holiday is Christmas. I'll say Merry whatever the fuck depending on what day it is. Profile, the melancholic banker. I destroy lives. Do I deserve this golden parachute? The Newport Times? <laughs> it's funny because the New York Times is, is very, very capitalist. <clears throat> America craves for a new space program. Children need to be inside by the final frontier. Sci-fi is enough or revive NASA. We're absolutely reviving NASA. You kidding me? I mean, look, these two, uh, let's call them fiscal conservatives or three fiscal conservatives are happy here, but two of the three of them are happy this way because NASA is a huge boon to the economy. So yeah, it'll cost money. But this will pay off in the long term. Let's provide a swift pathway to citizenship for millions of undocumented Americans. Yeah. Your lovey-dovey immigration policies are quite unpopular. Can I help you find the right balance? No. Immigration advisor. Uh, no, fuck off. <laughs> Budget item. F-22 and F-15 fighter jets. Obsolete, but cool looking. More of a job creation program, to be honest. Very cool, defund them. Motion to cancel student debt affecting millions of Americans. Yep. We have a failed generation. Student debt is a major crisis that we can end immediately. Yep. Nuclear arsenal modernization. If somebody has to blow up the world, it should be us. Salient. Nope, cut it. 
For a swift transition to renewables, we need to create a new agency, a power marketing administration. Marketing solutions only, or let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I shouldn't even tell you at this point, but legalize pot. Are you high? I, I mean, done. Wait, you also gotta let people with marijuana-related convictions out of jail. Yeah. Wait, you also gotta invest all the new revenues into communities fucked over by the war on drugs. Yeah. Stop right there. Let's not create another big tobacco. Co-ops for marijuana businesses. Labels. Health standards. Laissez-faire or done. What do you mean, winning the class war? Class is in, um... Style. Fashion. No? Bourgeois. Proletariat. Cripes. Big Pharma scamming us. What if we peg the price of prescription drugs to those in peer countries? Yep. Three months of paid parental leave for everybody. It's an extra dollar sixty. Uh, is that one sixty? One sixty, or is that seven dollars and sixty cents? We can payroll taxes. No excuses. Yeah, it's a good investment. Uppity folks are all riled up about corn syrup. No good for farmers. You gotta raise the subsidies. I. I don't want to. No. Supreme Court is still dominated by old conservatives and threatens to overturn your policy. Should we reform it? How? We can add two new seats to rebalance the Supreme Court. Republicans turned into a partisan body. Let's take it back. Yeah, it won't pass, but maybe later. Native American tribe is suing the State Department for authorizing an oil pipeline in their land. Controversial. Settle. Fight. I don't know... I'm gonna settle? I, I think this means settle with the uh, tribal government. It's so embarrassing, I wanna kill myself. We have to reroute that pipeline and pay reparations. Well, I picked the wrong option! Alright, reroute it. CO2 sucks, but methane, like, mega sucks. Baby, let's regulate the hell out of greenhouse gas emissions. Yeah! No one should be in jail because they don't have enough money, and cash bail to federal level. Yep. Gun nuts hate you? Let's enjoy recreational shooting. Yeah, alright. Yay, where should we go? Hunting or a gun range? Okay, the environmentalists won't like this, but we'll win them back. <laughs> Choose your weapon wisely! AK-47, AR-15. Who's, who's this motherfucker all the way in the back that would get a hard-on for an AK? Free market internationalist. Yeah, we're gonna go with an AR-15. My dear, we could expand social security if we remove the caps on payroll tax. They just favor the very rich. Keep the cap tax. The rich. Bad reputation amongst the elites. Befriend a billionaire. Some of them are decent people. Class enemies. While well, calling them class enemies, everybody like that. Or set up a date. Nobody like that. Ah, they're class enemies. Fuck them. Let's invest in big solar plants. We got plenty of desert in the states. Well, what if it's cloudy? Yeah, go. Uh, we're gonna run a deficit. That's fine. Farmers, we got heaps of land. With a little help, we can grow energy alongside crops. Cook some food. Take a subsidy. Fuck! Fuck the economy! E, we're officially in a deficit. It means spending exceeds revenue it makes me quite nervous. Money's a made-up concept. The opioid epidemic killed 400,000 Americans. I submit we go after the corporations that enabled it. It's too late, or get them all. Get them! Many non-violent drug offenders are still in jail due to draconian laws from the war on drugs. You can pardon them. Yep, mass pardon. Here's a no-brainer. Police should be more diverse, and officers should live in the communities that they serve. Officers should live in the communities that they serve. That part I agree with. The diverse part... I, this is a reform, and I think it's insubstantial. So yeah, I support that. The carbon tax is a beautiful way to make polluters pay and incentivize the transition. Yep, I love it too. I love it. Deficit? What deficit? All you have to do is set up a fucking carbon tax. Done. Uh, I'm notifying you that the Iraqi government is calling for all foreign troops to leave. They want us out. All right. 
Surely you're aware that leaving Iraq would jeopardize our presence in the whole region. ISIS might surge. Cool. Seem a little stressed. Really? I mean, I, I feel like we're doing well. Congressional control is doing all right. We have a uh, majority that are hyper loyal. The economy is doing great. People power surging. We're cutting CO2 emissions. We're doing great. Uh, we gonna play basketball? Like one person would like this. Or we could play golf. Okay, listen. I think that golf is a waste of land and green spaces, especially in states like California that are semi-arid, uh, or in straight-up arid states like Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, etc. Uh, golf is anathema. But we are a politician, we're playing politics, so we're playing golf. Sorry to interrupt, the constituents are anxious. Will you push for Medicare for all? Hell yeah! Seem to establish a single health care plan. The government covers all the bills. Simpler, less wasteful, just lovely. Yeah, let's do it. Oh no, the economy is socialized. Healthcare is actually slavery. Cool. The left must keep lefting. Yes. Should we keep building the wall on the Mexico border? We're like 13% done. No. No, we should stop it. Facial recognition on all surveillance cameras. Harness the power of AI to track criminals. That is problematic. Midterm elections are upon us. I'm a bit nervous. Why? I, I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, sorry, 4, 8, 9 that are definitely voting, a 10th that's probably, and that only leaves 5. We have a two-thirds majority. Fuck off, Democrat. Yeah. Uh, we maintained our congressional support. We have a two-thirds majority, just like I said. We're doing fine. Solidarity forever. <laughs> Forever. The union makes us strong. This is cursed. Solidarity Forever is a great song. Um, I never ever want to hear an auto-tuned robotic voice sing Solidarity Forever. So wow with you. <laughs> oh god. Oh my, we maintain control of Congress. Yeah, that's what happens, Democrat, when you actually push for things. They say Columbus Day, we say Indigenous Peoples Day. We told we need to fund the fossil fuels in the ground, keep fossil fuels in the ground, ban fracking, ban offshore drilling. It has to be gradual or ban and ban. Uh, honestly? Yeah, fucking ban it. Nice economy you have there. Be a shame if something happened to it. Fuck off. Desert solar plants have a problem with dust. Need to hire more cleaners. Great, more jobs. Green New Deal is killing legacy industries. Let's make sure workers aren't screwed over as usual. I'm listening. Give laid off fossil fuel workers five years of former salary. That is a lot, but sure. Sounds cheesy, but planting trees totally helps the environment. Yep. Please, a comment about the blackface incident. I'm outraged or it was different time outraged. Bosses can just call workers contractors. Oh my god, it's so loud. Am I old? Oh my god. Bosses can just call workers contractors and get away with everything. Bullshit or not, I call bullshit. Yo, let's establish a progressive tax on extreme wealth. Hell yeah, it'll only affect the 1% raise trillions. Damn right! Under the new wealth tax, billionaires will be taxed at the same rate as middle-class homeowners. Your pro-labor agenda convinced millions of working-class non-voters to get back to party politics. A voter's top priority changed from uh, defense to workers' rights. Ha! Huh. Neat! I mean, they still won't vote for us, but Dow Jones plunges 800 points. Proof that socialism doesn't work. Dow Jones doesn't measure anything. It's just rich people's feelings. Fuck off. Investments are languishing, so I prepared an economic development package. Cash and near cash incentives. Um, no, that raises CO2 emissions. I'm good. Tax house flippers. Number one, tax house flippers. Number two, add a penalty for empty homes. Number three, give tax breaks to folks who are being priced out of their neighborhoods. Yeah, dude. You once said billionaires should not exist, literally. An offer you can't refuse. You give us few tax exempt development zones, we'll start new businesses. Nah. 
Corporations and billionaires are moving their wealth to offshore tax havens. I have a plan to stop them. I'm interested. The curb evasion. All countries should automatically exchange tax information. That seems very complicated, but okay. Sued opioid giant files for bankrupt <laughs> bankruptcy. We are scapegoats. Yeah, all right. Turbines. Turbines everywhere. The wind generation potential is nine times our energy demand. Yep. Switzerland is refusing to comply to tax transparency agreements. It's kind of their whole business. Sanction Switzerland? Or whatever. Sanction them. I'm not losing any votes. And again, I'll have to worry about re-election. Fuck you, Switzerland. Public housing has a bad reputation because projects are underfunded. What are you going to do? Fund them. Student loan cancellation primarily benefited the middle class. You should have something for workers, too. Okay. I, God, it, solidarity forever fucking slaps. Forever! forever. It, 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 this is cursed. Absolutely cursed. Cash strap cities rely on fines and fees. They dis disproportionately target minorities and fuel mass incarceration. Yeah, we, we can change that. Awkward. Some Democrats are joining the Republicans at a call for moderation and fiscal responsibility. <laughs> what? People on the right are staying on the right? Crazy. Well, we lost congressional control, but that's fine. Budget item, aircraft carriers. No country has more than two. We have 11. We'd like a 12, just to make sure. Nope, cut it down to six. The sharing economy, man. We can reduce car use by letting Uber do their thing. Ah, uh, we're gonna regulate Uber. The future of transport. Hypersonic maglev vacuum trains connecting major urban areas. It's gibberish or I'm hyped. It's, it is gibberish though. Something we can agree on, increase funding for veterans, long-term care, education, health. But they already have that. But sure, yeah, all right, well, new GI program. Under Donald Skunk, ICE and Customs and Border Protection have been acting like rogue detention agencies. It's kind of embarrassing. All right, abolish it. Maybe we can let the Justice Department handle deportations and border protection like before 9-11. No, we don't need borders. <laughs> fuck, fuck the border. Half of Amazon workers are being replaced by robots. The other half are being paid peanuts. We're shutting this down. Hell yeah, dude, shut it down. Amazon workers on strike. Our inalienable shopping rights are in jeopardy. Your subsidized renewables made offshore drilling unprofitable. Here's some mass layoffs for you. Wind turbines are literally killing birds. I read it on the internet. That's propaganda. I'll fund bird sanctuaries. It is propaganda, but like, sure, let's help the birds. Biggest tax haven is the United States of America. Let's help other countries investigate their citizens hiding wealth here. No, we want their money or fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, that, that's fair. No, we could raise taxes on corporations out of seen pay gaps between CEOs and workers. Really? Well, isn't that nice? I guess we could bring a couple of factories back to the US. You just have to sweeten the deal. Pay them or fuck off. No, fuck you. I sense a disturbance in the media. Some powerful people are plotting a smear campaign against us. It's okay, I can't be re-elected. Who cares? Fuck them. Opinion, class warfare is raging. <laughs> raging, it's time for dialogue. But Alex, my jobs, we'll make new jobs. Like currently those factories are employing other people overseas. Capitalism operates on the extraction of wealth and resources from other countries and consolidating them in the Western world, right? So if we are still extracting wealth in terms of labor and uh, selling that, but I'm not going to solve that problem through bribery. That doesn't seem like a sustainable or realistic solution. Nah, no dialogue. Is wealth tax unconstitutional? Some billionaires don't think so. Here's an easy one. Fossil fuel workers get priority job placements and Green New Deal props. Yeah, that's fair. Well, your sudden ban on fracking and drilling has skyrocketed crude oil imports. Back to square one. Ban the oil imports. Yeah, we'll manage. Um... I'm not being re-elected. Fuck them. Ban it. 
Welcome to the Soviet States of America. Riots over gas prices, recession, strike. It's fine. Wait, oh god, that was the midterm elections. I- okay, yes, I get it. I want to lose the game. Oh god, how do you exit? <laughs> Alright. We'll exit that way. So, uh, you know, I misunderstood the midterms as my election. My re-election. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The game, uh, approximates time so loosely that I wasn't really sure what was going on there. But okay, you know, for a first run. I think for a one-term presidency, we got a lot done. And I'm not gonna feel bad about that. Oh, we'll go ahead and drop in a cut here so I can mine this for uh, YouTube stuff. I'm gonna keep streaming, but if you're watching this on YouTube, I, honestly, this won't be a long series. I'm probably just gonna play until I win. This game is like $5. It's cute, and I, I'm actually kind of surprised and pleased with what it's addressing and talking about. So until tomorrow, I guess I'll say toodaloo. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.